Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, January 23rd, 2021, week number... 112, right? 112. 112. <laughs> Hope everybody had a fantastic week. Um, weather is sunny here today. Still really, really chilly, though. Cold. <laughs> Windy, too. Oh. Windy. Yeah. Windy for sure. Well, let's get right into the numbers. we got to get Stacy going today. I was 333.8 last week, and this morning... Drum roll, had no idea up, down, or otherwise. 334.2, 0.4 up. And um, yeah, stuck with my keto. I even did one day where I did OMAD, just had breakfast in the morning and didn't really feel like eating anything else. So I just figured I'd continue the day not eating. And um, here I am at up 0.4. Yeah. So this is the way it is. But uh that's just my numbers. That's your numbers. I could have done more. I could have rode the bike more. I could have been more active. We so. were active in the basement, though. We oh, did yeah. quite a bit of work in the basement. And a lot of work done. Fin- a lot of finishing work. And we're still working on that, but we're going to get that mm-hmm. list done. We are. We have a two-year list here that we've been working off of, and we're knocking stuff off. I'm we- very <laughs> happy with that. So Very true. Let me get my numbers really quick. Yep. Uh, last week, I went in at 137.6. This morning, I came back at 138. So, um, four point four up. <laughs> like me, point four. Yeah. Stressful week. Um, it has been a stressful week, I lost honestly. my uncle on Monday. Yeah. It was a very sad day. It was my uh, dad's brother, very last member on my dad's side. So, um, yeah, no more aunts and uncles for yeah. you. It was sad. It was sad. Um, so, we made it through the week, though. Um, just focused our energies down in the basement and I did do a project. Um, oh, I got yeah. into my closets and my drawers. Yeah, last I think about two weeks ago we talked about you saying I need to get in there and get some clothes out. So Stace did a great job. To uh, what did you take out? Almost thirty-eight pieces of clothing that just don't fit. A few uh, one one sweater, two dresses, two skirts, lots of shirts, lots of pants and leggings and. They just don't fit. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going Let back. Let it go. Let it go. Because I'm not, I'm not going back that way. Yeah. And uh, so now the ball is in my court. And I'm going to uh, go through and do the same. Yes. Uh, maybe I'll do that this weekend. And then I'll have a picture yeah. of it or something for next week. But you did really good. I'm very proud of you. Usually I'm yelling at Stacy like you need to let some things go and yeah, I, I've been on this kick of just wanting everything a little more organized and less stuff. We've gone through kitchen drawers and closets <laughs> and basement closets and yep. oh my gosh, we just have so much stuff. And it, you come by it honestly, you know. Yeah. When my mom passed, I had boxes and boxes of things that I brought home and have to still go through and are still going through. And then yeah. you start adding her things to your things, so you have forty-seven plates in the cabinet instead of. 15 and there's only three of us me you and julia i couldn't Lauren get rid of her, her plates though yeah no so so simple things we just we're just trying to reduce but uh yeah so we got our weights in and you did great on your closet excellent job i have and some more that i want to do um those were there was probably about five pair of pants that um our oldest daughter might be able to wear um so for her. that doesn't that's not included in the 38 things that I'm donating to somebody else. Yeah. So I was feeling pretty good. But there's probably a few more things um, that I can scale down. Cool. Glad, happy for you. Uh, yeah. Glad to see that happening. Bill came and he goes, where are you? And he came the in answer, and he goes, whoa, I'm the answer leave the is room. Not, <laughs> the answer is not, let's buy more hangers. And I've heard that too many times. I'm like, no, the answer is start reducing some of the stuff we have because... We don't need to buy more hangers. I get it if they break or something. They're not breaking. You just keep buying more, and that's getting silly. So well, I gotta get stuff that fits me. Yeah. Well, you got plenty of empty hangers now. I have plenty of empty hangers. Yeah, and you don't need more. Please don't refill the closet immediately. Not immediately. Yeah. Jeans, I'm okay on. Surprisingly, I'm okay on. Salvation Army has been my friend. Yep. <laughs> so those have been pretty good. Um, and then probably just a few shirts that are a little bit more fitting versus the yeah. 1X, 2X that swim on me. <laughs> I've been pulling stuff out of the freezer. I haven't really felt much like 
doing any baking or cooking so much. Uh, I had made meatballs a few weeks back ago, and I put them in Ziploc bags. So I keep pulling out a bag of meatballs, and then I just let those thaw, and the next day that's what I have. Yeah. That's what I had last night, too. Yeah. Meatballs. So. I had chicken, broccoli, and... Fettuccine, fettuccine type sauce. of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. It was that was Alfredo, young. I should Alfredo. say. Alfredo, yeah. I was yeah, trying pepper. to think. I knew fettuccine wasn't what I wanted to we say. We peppered it. We garlic it. We onioned it. We peppered it, was, it. Yeah. And we peppered it. Apparently, she likes pepper. I, I like pepper. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, I can't cook, so No, whatever. you cook very well. I did. Uh, Make it yourself. We had a fathead pizza. <laughs> Make it yourself. <laughs> See how that turns out. No, kind of like you say, it's better when you make it. <laughs> you're going to criticize my food and don't eat it. No, I don't. You like lose it. weight. <laughs> <laughs> you goof. No, I'm, I'm really tired. It's been, I'm still having trouble with sleep. I gotta get some more sleep. Yeah. I'm working on it. He's working on it. So, we're getting there. <sighs> Lots going on. I still want to work on the S&B channel, Stacey yes. Bill Adventures. Um, we've got more things that we want to do for our upcoming spring camping. Yes. I don't really want to go do anything in right now. It's too cold out. I don't want to freeze my butt off. It's really cold outside. But we're converting our van into a portable weekend camping kind of a, a van. Mm -hmm. So everything we put in is easy enough to take out and yes. still use as a van. And uh, I think the next thing we're going to be working on is electronics and power. That's all him. Mm -hmm. Battery packs, solar solar panel thing that we have, all that fun stuff. So I can run my CPAP at night and we can power your laptop and things like that. People were making, not fun of me, but they're like, oh, I had my heated vest on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It heats in the front, it heats in the back, and it heats on the neck. Stacy's always cold. I'm so, always freezing. So I bought her a vest that <laughs> she could put a battery pack in and warm herself up. Everybody kept looking. They're going, are you glowing? I'm like, yes, I'm glowing. I said, I have a heated vest on. And they were like, oh, oh. They're very, they were all excited about that. Can I touch it? Does it really keep you warm? And they, for you, though. <laughs> they put their hand like on... In Middle between the vest and the yeah. uh, in the shirt, they're like, "Holy cow, you're really warm." I said, "Yeah, like that's how you were outside without a jacket." I don't do it often, but sometimes when you just got to run outside and you don't have time to go back to the other end of the warehouse, get your jacket, and come out. So they're like, "I was wondering how you weren't freezing." I'm like, "My arms are a little chilly, but my chest and my back weren't." <laughs> yeah, because that's got heated pads in the front and in the back, right? And on lower, the neck, yes, lower upper back. Plus in the front, plus in the, like, about where your hands the would go. The chest area. Yeah. It's pretty warm. So, that was just an idea. I it's said, if you don't like it, we'll just send it back. But I thought it would be a good thing for you. I Especially wear. with you working in the vestibule of Costco a lot. Yep. You're out there, and you're kind of in that intermediate zone of where it's a little cold, and you're not inside. Yeah. So, I was thinking it might help Back you. in the receiving area is pretty chilly, and... Yeah. Um, Yesterday, I worked in the bakery, which you would think I wouldn't have needed it, but it was still chilly um, for me. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's in short sleeve shirts, and they're sweating, and they that open up the, uh, <laughs> the oven door to take out the muffins, and I went and stood there, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And so I got myself nice and warm, and they're like, you're crazy. I don't know how you're doing it. They're like, how do you not sweat? I'm like, I, I just, I'm always. I'm do you always... have trouble with the, like being in bakery when they're making all those yummy things? Normally I don't. Yesterday I was doing, I had like cheese croissants, not croissants, the, um, they're like a, I guess it is a croissant with a, a Danish, that's what they're called. Danish, okay. Easy. As I'm sitting there and I have my head down, I'm wrapping and I was like, what is that smell? <sighs> they took the blueberry muffins, which is my favorite out of the oven mm -hmm. and they put it over to the side by the huge fans to help cool them and it was wafting it right to me. Oh the scent. Oh my god. They I'm smelled they pipe wonderful. That through the store so that everybody comes and buys I'm sure they would and then they were doing uh, we have a new decadent chocolate brownie. And I, everybody said it's really really like very rich. Doesn't mm. look I love brownies but that doesn't look like a brownie that I would want to try. Um, and then we came out with a new raspberry lemon muffin. I'm not sure. See, I'm not into that stuff so much. So. The lemon part sounds good. I love lemon. 
Yeah, the lemon um, might be kind of neat, but so, obviously that's not something I can have. Yeah, they smelled good, but I was like, mm, again, I don't, I don't know the raspberry and lemon. I guess that probably would go together very nicely, but I don't know. But the the, the smell of the blueberry muffins that was tough. Mm. <laughs> that <Sorry>. was tough. <laughs> Stace brought me home some steaks. I did. The butcher was doing up. I don't know what they are, ribeyes or something. Ribeye. Yeah. So that's a very big treat. I'm going to have to like section those and put them in little five, six ounce pieces and try and stretch it out. As I was walking out the store, everybody's like, oh, Randy hooked you up. (laughs) Yeah, they're pretty large. So I'll cut them down in about five, six ounce pieces. And then that way I'll get like double out of them because they're big. And they're all for him because I don't really eat meat. Yeah, so I'll make a steak here and there. He's excited. I am excited. I was appreciative. I appreciate. <laughs> I know. Well, you no, do. we only get them a couple times a year, so you yeah. know, last time was summertime, so and it's yeah. winter now, so yeah. It was looking due. forward to it. Looking forward to it. Well, hey guys, thanks for joining us. We're gonna get Stacy off to work, and um, hope everybody's having a good week. This has been a little bit of a stressful month. For yeah. a lot of things going on, and then get the family stuff too, and then the world. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really hoping for things to settle down. I kind of was hoping 2021 would 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 come in and be a little bit softer year on us all. And so far, it's 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 definitely been a doozy. Yeah. So, but we just keep trying and keep moving forward and try and stay positive and hopeful and. Say an extra prayer. Yes. And we all need it. Truly what I've been doing. <laughs> love for the border to open so I can see my mom. It's been a year since I've seen my mom. She doesn't have any kind of electronics, so we can't even like FaceTime her or anything yeah, like that. So. Only about 45 minutes away from her mom over in Canada here on the Michigan side. So, But we used to go pretty regular, and yeah. now we can't. It's so. been a year. Sad. Yeah, keep telling her to come here. Yeah. She won't leave her husband. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, it's yeah. Bill's turn yep. next week to see what kind of clothing he can get out. I promise you I will. I'll okay. do it before the week's up. It won't be like last night before. I'll do it this week. Very cool. I'll go through and get a bunch of stuff out. Mine might not look as impressive as you because mine might be shorts and things like that, but. I have a lot of very worn out things. Most things I can't even donate because they're just, I have things that are over 20 years old that I just need to let go. And they're too big now. Way yes. too big. So Because you're not time. going back. Well, it's not even that I'm not going back. They're worn out anyway. Right. <laughs> I'm, just la- I'm just lazy and don't want to spend the money on buying new underwear or new shorts or whatever. I, I have stuff that's over 20 years old. Mm-hmm. I need to let go. Yeah. I will. I'm inspired by your stack in there. That's a pretty good stack. It's a pretty good stack. I took a picture so you could see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll put that up in the video here. <laughs> I had to yell so. at him, don't trip on all the clothes. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to actually get going so Stacy can get to work. And um, I hope everybody has a good week. Have a great day. See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye.